The Chameleon for Digital Signage solution offers many advantages to operators. Perhaps its most beneficial feature is its simplicity. This quick start video will review the seven simple steps to get your display running in a matter of minutes. Let's review the required steps. Install devices ensuring that they have power and internet connections. Open a web browser and log into the Chameleon dashboard to configure devices. View a list of your devices confirming that each is connected to the dashboard. Upload graphic files or videos to be displayed. Optionally, set up web page captures such as local news or weather. Create a collection of graphic and video files including web page captures for ordered and scheduled display on device screens. Choose which campaigns will run on each device screen. That's it. After performing this last step, devices will be automatically updated within a few minutes and begin to display your content. When installing devices that will use an Ethernet internet connection, plug in Ethernet first. If installing Chameleon devices, such as set-top players that support separate displays, connect those displays using an HDMI cable. Next, connect Chameleon devices to power. For Ethernet connected devices, installation is complete. If a Wi-Fi connection is required on devices, Wi-Fi must be set up within Android settings for each device. Access to the Android settings is different depending on the type of device. For touch screen devices, hold a screen touch for 5 or more seconds. For the Chameleon player, you can either use the left button on USB connected mouse or press the OK button on the provided Android remote control. Next, enter your private device 5 digit PIN and the Android settings will be shown. Select the Wi Fi configuration. Turn Wi-Fi on if it was off and wait for available access points nearby to be listed. Select your access point and enter a password or other credentials if required to make a connection. Ensure that the platform shows the access point as connected. Restart the device to complete setup. Using a Chrome or Firefox browser, Visit ops.deviceworks.com and select the Chameleon dashboard. The login screen will be shown. Enter your unique credentials. These credentials are provided to you by Deviceworks. After login, a list of your devices will be shown. All Chameleon devices within your account will be displayed. Devices currently communicating with the dashboard will be shown in green. Those that are not communicating will be shown in red. Review the setup procedure for any devices that are not communicating to the dashboard. Device details are shown on the right side of the screen. Each device has a unique ID. This ID is visible on the device screen whenever Chameleon starts. DeviceWorks assigns this ID as a permanent unique serial number for each device. A meaningful name is assigned to each device. This name can be changed at any time. To troubleshoot device connectivity, the last time a device communicated with the dashboard is shown. For information on other device details listed, consult the Chameleon's user guide. Content to be displayed on the devices is uploaded to the dashboard. Devices will automatically get content from the dashboard for playback. No direct interaction with the devices is required. To upload content files, select Ads within the Ad Manager. Select a local file and then give the ad a name. Upload and save the file for later use. Repeat this process for all image and video files to be displayed. To complement uploaded graphical content, image captures of web pages can also be shown on displays. Web captures may describe products and services or serve to increase viewers by showing local weather, news, or even sports. To create a web page capture, first select Ads within the Ad Manager. Select Remote Web Page and then enter the URL for the page. Provide a name for the capture and hit Save. 
The capture will then be listed along with the other graphics files. The preview function provides a view of what a current capture of the page looks like. Once graphic and video files have been uploaded and web page captures configured, a campaign can be created. The campaign controls playback order, duration, and transitional animation for the selected files and web page captures. Select Simple Campaigns within the Ad Manager to create a campaign. Give the campaign a name and enter a brief description. Save the campaign, leaving all other campaign attributes at their default values. Available ads will be shown. Select ads to include in the campaign. Ads may be selected multiple times if they are to play multiple times during a campaign. Order ads by dragging and dropping them into the campaign and select the display duration in seconds. Save the campaign when edits are complete. Scheduling of campaign playback is supported through other campaign types and is described in detail within the user's guide. To play ambient music during a campaign, enable selection of a shoutcast station. Next, select a genre, subgenre, and station to populate the URI field. Don't forget to save the campaign after the URI field is set. Note that any sound included in your video files will play at the same time as the ambient music so this feature should only be used with static graphics and silent videos. The final step in the setup process is to select a campaign for playback within each device. Ads files within each campaign will be automatically downloaded and playback of the campaigns will begin on devices as soon as the download completes. Select device to view the list of devices and then select a specific device to view its attributes. Choose a campaign for playback and then save the device attributes. Within a minute of saving the campaign selection, the devices will begin downloading the campaign files and then begin playback of this content when the download completes. For more information, consult the Chameleon User's Guide. This guide and additional support is available from the DeviceWorks support team. Email support at deviceworks.com.